Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation. Let me introduce our team. We are Navtech team from Polytechnic Negeri Batam, Indonesia. Introducing our Roro Passenger concept design, the safe and affordable ferry MV Shankar. Designed using monohull with display type with better stability and maneuverability, adapted to the shipping area, the Brahmaputra River in India, which has shallow water characteristics and has strong river currents. The dimension on this ferry have been adjusted to the average dimensions of ships operating in India, so that the dimension obtained is 31.5 meters long, 8.8 .8 meters wide, draft of 1 meters, height of 1.9 meters, and a dead weight tonnage of 108.08 tons. The ferry can operate stably in waters with strong currents because MV Shantara has met all the criteria for stability analysis and damage analysis in accordance with the IMO MSC criteria. Two azimuth thrusters as the ship's propulsion system to move the ship with a total resistance value of 70 knot, so that the required power is 778.801 kW. The ship can operate at a maximum surface speed of 15.8 knots. The selection of azimuth thruster type fixed mounted thruster is more efficient and make it easier to maneuver the ship to do. On the top of the deck, there is a SCR system to make exhaust air cleaner and solar panel for additional power supply. On the main deck, there's two ram doors located at the port and starboard of the vessel for access to enter and exit vehicles and cargo. At the front of the ship, there is cargo storage with a capacity of 5 tons each. MV Shankara have pedestrian paths on the right and left. Turntable that can rotate 360 degrees to facilitate the mobilization of vehicles in and out of the ferry. This vessel can accommodate 50 motorbikes or the equivalent of 8 standard cars and one fire truck. There is one freezer and one dry storage at the back of the ship for storage of agricultural products with each freezer capacity of 2.5 tons. During a pandemic, dry storage can change to post-pandemic and there is an isolation room on hospital and pandemic control room. Stairs to go up to the passenger deck are located on the right and left of the ship to facilitate the evacuation route. Life-saving equipment needs SOLAS regulatory standards for Aurora passenger ships. The fast rescue boat is placed at the back of the ship to facilitate launching. It can accommodate a maximum of 15 people. There are 8 life rafts, 4 on the left and 4 on the right, with a throw launch system and can immediately float and inflate on the water perfectly. For the life-saving appliances, there are four marine evacuation systems, two on the port side and two on the starboard side. This mess can evacuate up to 250 people and suitable for shallow water area. The passenger deck can accommodate 150 adult passengers and 15 children passengers with a total of 165 passengers. There are 150 seats with barriers made of Technica plastic to reduce direct contact between passengers and can be removed when pandemic period is over. At the bottom of the passenger seat, Personal safety equipment is placed to make it easier for passengers to reach the safety equipment. The air purifier with HEPA filter technology to keep it sterile and can filter the air optimally. There are two layouts on the passenger deck. It is normal situation and pandemic situations. The first is the deck layout for normal situations. In normal situations, 110 passenger seats are available. The second is the deck layout for the pandemic situation. During the pandemic situation, we reduced the number of passengers from 110 seats to 50 available passenger seats. This ferry also equipped with vessel traffic management system that is designed to effectively manage vessel traffic in ports, harbors, and coastal areas. It provides tools for a coordinated global approach to maritime traffic control, monitoring, and decision support. There are six modules provided on ship management system software, one of which is safety management system ensuring that every ship complies with the mandatory safety rules and regulation, follow the codes, guidelines, and standards recommended by the IMO. To ensure the safe travel route, we provide LIDAR sensor that function to provide information on objects around the ship to avoid objects that can damage and cause leaks of the ship. The cost estimate of new shipbuilding is $1,155,847.58. Plus added by 10% estimate is $1,271,432.34. The profit earned for 4 trips per one day is $3,800. The cost of building a new ship will pay back in 3.5 years.